So the spoiler is now standard on the Mark 8 Golf R. There you go, no need for the performance pack. And I have that confirmed and I'm gonna share that with you in today's video. So you join me in Lossley Park, um, an absolutely amazing venue where I've just spent a bit of time in a Toyota Land Cruiser doing some off-road bits. Now, you may think that a Golf R can do everything, but my Golf R struggles even on these kind of like potholes as you can see there. Um, not exactly too challenging, but it's challenging enough. <laughs> but yeah, I, basically posted the video which said you know is the spoiler standard now which was a bit random and it seemed like it was a lot of my subscribers had said it was a lot of people came back and said well is it you know <laughs> is it confirmed so i thought you know what i'm gonna check with vw and see if it is so i did so as you can see on screen i messaged volkswagen uk on twitter and i said you know can you confirm if the spoiler is you know, is standard anymore, is there any change? And they came back a bit generically, just sort of saying, oh yeah, it's it does have a spoiler. But then I was like, well, all Golfs have some sort of spoiler. So I wanted some real definite things. So I just said, is, does the performance pack contain an extended spoiler? Is there any difference? And they came back quite clearly and said, no, it is no difference in the spoiler size at all. So basically in short, the performance pack is now just 19 inch wheels, delimited speed and drift mode. And it said something about progressive steering. I've got no idea what that is. Um, you know, let me know if, if you know. Um, but yeah, there you go. What do I think about that now that that's 100% confirmed and you can take this video as gospel. You know, I've checked with them. That's confirmed as far as I'm, you know, sorted. If you're ordering a Golf R, whether you've ordered the performance pack or not, you are getting that spoiler, whether you like it or not. I actually think for cars like the owners that I drove without the performance pack, he had a really well specced black one with um, Acroprofit exhaust and DCC, and he fitted the 19 inch wheels. He didn't have the performance pack. I think those Golf R's are actually gonna be quite sought after now, the ones without the spoiler, as weird as it sounds, in the future, I'm talking once it's well out of production. I actually think now, if you're specking a Golf R, all you really need is DCC. You've got the spoiler, stick it on 18 inch wheels. I mean, I'm bashing around all over there. You know, you just have the comfort. You don't have that extra profile, um, which is quite cool. As you can see, I'm just exiting um, my gates. <laughs> I don't live here, but I'll, uh, pretend I do. So yeah, I would just option DCC or option nothing at all. You've got the wing. So there you go. Kind of makes sense. I mean, personally for me, the heart of what a Golf R has kind of been, probably since the Mark 7 really, the Mark 6, um, has been that kind of subtle kind of approach. So, you know, I like mine's three door manual, you know, no big wings, no nothing. I always kind of feel that's kind of technically for the GTIs. I don't know. Listen, I love the wing, but it's proper, it's a bit more out there, <laughs> to say the least, for some people's liking. Whereas the Golf R could be considered as a more con um, more mature car, potentially, than a GTI. I don't know. You know, let me know your thoughts. Um, but yeah, there you go. It's now part of it. I, I do find it a bit bizarre. Um, I genuinely don't see the point of spending two and a half thousand pounds on a performance pack now. I say you are better off, if you want to spend an extra two grand on your Golf R, get the 19 inch wheels for like 900 quid and then get, um, and then go for DCC. And you've still got, you still got to change. So that's what I would recommend. And yeah, there you go. The Golf R performance pack, it's questionable in the UK. <laughs> to say the least um, and I know obviously one of the owners that I spoke to he's one of the reasons why he picked his Golf R 8R was because of the performance pack I mean I don't know maybe people aren't too bothered maybe people are but take this video as yes it is standard and that's what VW is saying I've had a fantastic day at Lost Sleep Park as you can see it's so amazing here. I want to live here. I want to spend the rest of my life here. <laughs> it's, it is just so, so nice. I mean, look around us. I mean, you wonder all the awful things in the world and you can just cruise here, cruise in your Golf R and just enjoy things. And if anything, this experience that I had just now, which I will put on the channel, enabled me to realize how much more control is better. Um, 
Hence why I like four wheel drive. So one thing I want to add, and this could all be like interlinked actually to what I've just said, is that VW just put something on like their Instagram page, just sort of hinting at a new performance golf. A lot of like um, like Evo, Auto Express have kind of mentioned it, and I've had lots of kind of comments about it and speculations of what that could be. I think it could be quite exciting, and maybe makes a bit more sense why potentially why the spoiler is now standard because maybe they're introducing a new model. I don't know, is it going to be the Golf GTI performance something, or is it going to be a Golf R performance? Um, Yeah, reading a few things, you know, there's lots of talks about them improving things. You know, VW's done very well this year. In the UK, it's been the best-selling car. Um, So it doesn't surprise me that they're able to kind of like expand a little bit, which is quite cool. Let me know your thoughts in the comments about the wing now being standard and not being part of the performance pack, and also on this potential new limited edition model. And I'll, I'll keep you informed in the coming weeks once we know a little bit more. Someone also said that this was a, this is specific to the Golf R now coming to the US market. So I'm not too sure. It's very early days. This is literally about an hour after I've kind of heard the information. Um, but I thought I'd add that little bit in. And um, yeah, comment below. Let me know your thoughts and like the video if you enjoyed this type of content. And I'll keep you up to date. Cheers, guys.